I'm here, uh, of course, with Scully from GoFormat.com. We decided to have a fun match together with some jank. I'm going to host up right now. Unfortunately, I don't have the spin because I ended up deleting a lot of my videos for space, but uh, I think you could tell when you see the deck that is definitely not uh, a uh, high-quality deck. I'm hosting now. All right, I'm going to hop on in. Yeah. And uh, I think this is the first time we've actually been in a call together. I think so. So it's nice uh, talking to you other than just in text for once. Not that it makes too much of a difference. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting hand that I got. Let's see how uh, things go. I uh, dueled Ron Swanson earlier today, and uh, it was recording really weird, but it seems to be fine now. Okay, and this will kind of give you a bit of a clue. Going to discard King of the Swamp. Yep. For polymerization. And then, how greed. There's charity. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, but this deck. Oh my god. If you could see what I drew, you would not think it's uh very amazing. Um jeez. Uh well I'm about to reveal to you uh a bit of uh what this deck is about. And in fact, that is the card that I drew for the jank wheel. The Arc Hex Sealed, I mean, has some decent options. Yeah, still have to discard one more. Uh, going I would have made a Gatling Dragon deck with it. Yeah, I could have, but I wanted to make as many options as possible. Uh, I'm going to summon Mystic Tomato, and I'll attack the face down, see what you got going on. I got a Pokemon net. Painful, but all right. I'll accept it. I will set and I return. All right. Normal summon. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Heavy storm. All right. Now maybe you'll see a little bit of the kind of jank I'm working with. No woman. Okay. Third counter. Oh my god. It's happening again. Did you already play against this deck? Uh, Ron had Mandragola, but he also... We were playing Hyper Jank, and he also had the Eye of Truth, so his deck was really bad. <laughs> I literally yeah, had uh, 18,000. Two Mandragolas in a row, then. Yeah, I literally had like 18,000 life points at one point. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay, well, that actually doesn't help me in this situation. I got something going on, but it's not actually helpful. Um, Can you handle Dark Magic Ian? <laughs> Dark Magic Ian. You know what? I don't think I can. I'm just gonna have to hope and pray. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's painful. And his buddies. I might have to make a desperation move. Oh my goodness, if you could see the the See the pot graceful mirror force that you have? Yeah, and yet my hand is this. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, okay, well I lose oh anyway, but I'm showing you because I, I literally can't win. Uh, just showing you. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, no materials? <laughs> I do, but you would literally just kill me with Dark Magician, so it wouldn't have mattered. I have a side deck, but it would only help you. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have too much sided. Okay. 
Well, this is something. Uh, I'm going to discard that for Polly. Set and I will set another and I'm gonna turn it. Yep. Yep, yep. T on that. Okay, we've got something going on here, folks. Uh, going to graceful. Let's see. Uh, do I? Do I? Do I? Yes. No. Maybe so. Uh, going to discard someone's skull. And ooh, it's tough. Do I need that? And I can kind of discard Polly. Man, not even in Summon Skull's description is anything about electricity. Yeah, it's weird that in the show it uses electricity, but there's like it doesn't tell you at all about that. It just says, oh, it's a fiend. Okay, well. <laughs> With, like, psychic powers. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's Fiend. All right. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to summon this. Yep. And call back some oh, skull. Oh, man, Black Skull Dragon? Uh, well, depending on what your face down is. Hopefully, I can. I'm going to try to get in some damage first. Oh. All right. That's fair. Uh, I will attack it. And then main phase two, I will use the effect to summon Black Skull Dragon. I topped for the show to jump with uh, Light Hex Fusion in my main deck. Oh yeah, what, uh, what kind of deck was it? Machine. Ah. It's a Cyber Dragon into Cyber Twin. Nice. But I yeah. never uh, yeah, cyber... pulled off Dark Hex. Yeah, Cyber Twin Dragon is uh, definitely powerful. A lot more powerful than a 3200 beater. <laughs> okay, give myself some life points. Okay, and that's Ashes All Cards, the same name from their deck, right? Okay. If it's a trap. If it's a normal. Is if it's normal or just any trap? Um, any trap. Okay. Do, 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 do. And that's all I got. Why are you so rude? Yeah. Good. yeah. Gosh dang. Alright. Well, to be fair, I couldn't resummon it anyway, because for some reason, it's not a fusion summon. No? Yeah, for some reason with Hex Sealed, it's not a fusion summon. Wish it was. But, uh, guess what? I'm gonna beat down with someone's skull. Oh man, he's back. The one, the only. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else I really wanna do with that, so yeah, just attack. 
And then I'll set this in my turn. Are you afraid of what's in the dark? Tomater. And I will summon... Summon it again. Want to make another? Yeah. Black I, uh, unfortunately, I I don't think now is the time. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, pretty much with this deck, instead of just going for one exact fusion, I actually went for a toolbox of a bunch of things that it could summon, since, you know, if I'm playing the card, I might as well try to get as much use out of it as possible. Um, I'll attack. Attack. Yep, yep. You're a rude individual. Uh, I guess I gotta force the issue. Yeah. And that'll be my turn. Another thousand. We'll see if I can at least get one game off. <laughs> I mean, I used the plant's effect first game, so I'm pretty satisfied. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, let's see what I got going on here. Not a whole lot. So I'm going to summon Spirit Reaper, which is another card you can use for uh, Hex Sealed. And I have no idea what the face down could be. I'm just going to attack with Tomato first, anyway. Alright, now I'm going to snipe the pot greed out of your hand. Let's see. Three, oh, there's too many. So, I'll just pick... Is it going to let me pick? No, it isn't. Okay, in that case, uh, closest to your extra deck. Oh my god. Is it pot of greed? <laughs> <laughs> the game. The whole rest of my hand is so bad too. The, I w was trying to pick a different card, but it literally wouldn't let me click. So I'm just like, well, <laughs> I'll just pick something else then. <laughs> okay. That's a card. Um. Hmm. Am I actually gonna do Ram this? Into it. Am I actually gonna do this? I'm gonna summon the one and only. Sandwich. Oh man. <laughs> that, that, that does get over my Toon Gemini Elf. Yeah, and I'll use the effect of uh, Sangan. Hmm. That's what Sandwich is thinking. I could make lunch. Reaper on the Nightmare, but it's probably not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm just going to grab another tomato. And attack. We'll see if it lets me pick a card this time. Yes. All right. Is the sandwich too strong?
Oh man. Sandwich beatdown wins. <laughs> I regret only playing two faiths. <laughs> That's the thing about it. When you run three, sometimes you'll end up regretting having three. But if you only run two, then you're gonna regret only having two. Well, I wanted the uh, old vindictive for the toolbox aspect, but I don't think it was worth it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was making a deck for uh, common charity and I was kind of wondering the same thing if I should go three fates but it's a little bit different in that one because there's not as many power spells so oh my gosh this this hand this hand um see if I regret. Yes, I do regret. Alright. I'm trying my hardest to activate this upstart. Yeah, sometimes doing books a little bit slow. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I got a piece of, uh, piece of draw every opening hand, so I guess it's fair. <laughs> yeah. Chain on that, even though it's not gonna. Okay. Darn, that would have been three counters. <laughs> uh, this doesn't get banished, right? Because it was face up. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I hope you're ready for what's about to come. The ultimate pitch dark dragon beatdown. Oh. Well then. Doesn't do anything, right? Uh, no. It, unless I have dark blade, it does literally nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, that's a nice full grip there. Oh, do you? Okay, we got Buster Blader too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's see. We gotta banish the rest of them if it wants to let me do so. Uh Screw it. I'm gonna continue the pitch dark dragon beat down. Or even better, the Divine Dragon Ragnarok beat down. Oh man. Almost tripling my output. I'll end my turn with that. Yeah. So that'd be uh fourteen hundred. Let's see. Obviarization. Oh no. All good? Okay. Oh! That is painful. Very painful. Got a backup? No. <laughs> no. Whew. Uh, I wasn't ready for uh, 
Dragoon's up. Yeah, he was about to come, and if only... Ah, oh, dang. Okay. Um... Alright, I'm gonna... The... Hold out on a prayer that I can't die this turn. Okay, not dead. Okay, there's something. Oop, if it wants to do that, okay. Uh, this is probably not gonna end well, but I'm gonna... Oh, wait. I guess I can't do both, but oh well. Going to discard King of Swamp. And do that. As much as I'd like to make an actual fusion play, it's probably better for me to just do this. Is the activation good? Yep. Okay. Use my summon skull. Okay. I'll be, well, now I'm gonna lose my summon skull. Yeah. Let's see it. I think uh, you have game anyway, but let's uh, let's play it out. <laughs> All three counters on skilled by magician. Maybe one of the only times in history it's ever gotten <laughs> to attack for game. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. I uh, obviously I only had polymerization. Uh, yeah, I tried to make a toolbox deck instead of just... I could have made it, like you said, just one fusion monster, or I could have just went fusion gate, but I felt like that would be... It would just be a worse version of a better deck, and I'm just like... I almost, I almost went fusion gate with mine, even that's what my side deck is, and I was going to try to do the Buster Blader stuff, and I was like, it really... If I did that, it really takes away from magical plant ever doing anything yeah i'm, yeah. I'm glad i at least used it game one <laughs> yeah exactly and two if i went the fusion gate route that kind of would have been the same thing where my hex wouldn't end up actually doing anything because i could just use fusion gate instead of its effect so but it, it still counts as a uh as a substitute at least yeah yeah for fusion true. gate but then it could just literally be any substitute monster yeah but yeah, that was a lot of fun, and I'm glad at least uh, it was somewhat, even even though uh, <laughs> obviously my deck was less cohesive. But again, uh, thanks very much for uh, the match, and uh, maybe if you feel like it, we could do some more in the future. Yeah, for sure. Catch you later. Yeah, take care.